the best SEO plugin for WordPress? Which one should you be using? Why should you be using it? And uh, everything else that you need to know about the SEO plugins on WordPress. So there are tons of plugins on WordPress, SEO related, not SEO related. If you scroll through this post, if you're finding this video on our website, you'll see that we talk about a bunch of different SEO plugins on this page. If you're finding this video on YouTube, in the description below, you can find access to that page that I'm speaking of, and then you can scroll through to see all of those SEO plugins that we talk about. We personally use Yoast SEO, and that is uh, the tool that we use. But there are tons of other SEO tools out there. There are certain SEO tools that you can use, SEO plugins that are around compressing the image files on your website, um, which is important. That's not a direct SEO plugin, but when compressing images on your website, that will help the pages load faster, which then in turn helps SEO. There are schema plugins. Schema plugins allow you to add local schema, recipe schema, and other schema to a site, and again, not directly SEO related, but uh, basically that's that's the, the goal and the function of that. And so while there are tons of different SEO plugins out there, we personally use Yoast and then we use a, a couple other of those plugins that compress images, that make the site load faster, all that type of stuff. The important thing is just going to be to do your research. If you go to this page, like I said, you can scroll up and down and you can see all the different uh, SEO plugins we talk about, uh, which ones uh, are great, which ones have some fallbacks and setbacks, and then you can make your own choice. You're not stuck to an SEO plugin once you use it. The goal is for you, obviously, to use that SEO plugin to boost your site's SEO. If you need help doing that, help configuring the plugins, and help with your uh, SEO in general, you can reach out to us and we will be happy to help.